Hey guys, and welcome to Ace Corner. So you're new to my channel. Thank you for visiting. Um, and for those of you who are coming back, thank you so much for watching my videos. I know I'm not consistent in uploading. It's just been, well, I guess that's what this video is about. A little catch up, chit chat, get ready with me. Um, yeah, so happy new year. I'm just gonna be doing my makeup with some of my favorite products and after this video, I'll be filming another video with my 2023 um, favorites, okay? All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, so for those of you who are new to my channel, um, they call me Yaya or Yagis. I am 53 years old. I um, have a husband. I have a... 13 year old son um most of my family and i we live in miami um did i say i'm 53 years old i think i did <laughs> i have a full-time job in the finance slash entertainment um industry um what else it takes up a lot of my time <laughs> and i thankfully Last year, uh, my company told me I was, or they approved, I am 100% remote because I report into corporate, which is um, in New York. So um, I am very lucky. Thank God every day for what I have. And I thank God that I don't have to drive in this crazy Miami um, traffic. All right, just gonna put on some tonic lotion. And yeah, so I have oily combo skin. I've always had oily skin ever since um, puberty. <laughs> um, and most recently, I would say in the last year, I am not, I actually, I'm, I'm about to, cause it's a little early. And I'm on vacation, so I need to wait till the doctor's office opens up. The dermatologist I need to make an appointment with her. It's the only appointment I was not able to make last year. I wanted to get all my appointments in by December 31st, you know, to take advantage of that um, deductible. <laughs> all right, so, um, yeah, so I've been really breaking out right here so i don't know if it's hormonal i don't know what it is but need to find a solution to that okay so i am using a new phone i need to get used to this um just the lighting maybe it's the lighting i need more light here but we'll see all right so i film in my guest bedroom my guest bedroom is a guest bedroom my hobby room and my youtube room so 2023 I, um, it flew, it flew. I don't know where the time went. I wanted to do so many things. I, gosh, I remember one of my, one of my, um, goals was to cut back on buying makeup. Well, that didn't happen. Um, yeah, so that didn't happen. Um, I made some purchases that I think were kind of impulsive. And not sure if you got to see my declutter quick six minute video. Um, it was longer than that, but I just cut it down. Um, and um, yeah, there were some things that I purchased and just couldn't make it work and I think I it's not my full-time job so I think I need to be more picky at what um I decide to uh purchase all right so let's see um so yeah that was one of my goals obviously my other goal was to as every year is to get healthy um lose weight um I was able to, so I can't beat myself up too much on that. 
I was able to lose 16 pounds. I think I only gained back two. Um, uh, I got on Weight Watchers and I also got on Wagovi. So, um, Wagovi, no longer. I think I did three months and that was it because first, my primary uh, care physician is impossible to get an appointment with. It's impossible to talk to her. It's impossible to work with her medical staff. I would say 75% of them are terrible. Um, so I'm switching doctors. Even though I love her, she's been my doctor for a long time. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't. Um, um, yeah, I can't, I can't deal with it. And it caused me a lot of stress. So, um, I got on Wagovi on and off for four months and yes, but with only three prescriptions mm. and the problem was there was no, there was a, sh a shortage. So it was on and off. I think really what worked in my case was Weight Watchers. So I need to get back on track with Weight Watchers. Um, so yeah, that's continuing. I need to make an effort to go to the gym. Um, yeah, what else? Um, another thing I want to, well, another thing that I started focusing on last year and will continue to do this year is kind of reassess my relationships. Um, with everybody. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, you, I find myself, well, my best friend is my, is my sister, so I'll never reevaluate that relationship. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've got friendships that I think I'll have forever. I have friendships that, you know, it's it's a two-way street. It can't be a one-way street. So, um, reevaluate those kind of relationships that, you know, hey, um, reevaluate relationships. Do I still want a relationship? So, yeah, a lot of those things. And um, it takes a lot of, you know, it sounds easy, <laughs> but it's very... Um, mentally draining um work relationships i've also evaluated work relationships and what i mean by that is um you know um working relationships should be very respectful and i am very lucky that in my in my job my company is very they're great. They're very um, aware of those type of things, you know, if there's issues going on. And so, you know, it's a very safe space to speak up. Um, they deal with it very discreetly. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and I've I've always known that. In the last couple of years, I've always known that. I've been there, gosh, oh, I think tomorrow it's going to be eight years I've been there. Wow, time flies. It wasn't like that at the beginning because I worked for another area in the company, but now it is. So, um, but it's still, when you're, I'm not used to, how can I say this? I'm not used to um, speaking up when something is bothering me. I just try to navigate around it uh, very respectfully. Um, I try to deal with it myself. And actually, <laughs> the, what happened here is I didn't even need to really speak up. Um, other other team members they spoke up and they saw it and they felt it so that's ongoing as well 
Um, I'm going to use this. What else this year? Um, so yeah, I go to the gym. As far as work is concerned, um, you know, I'm going to try to um, establish a routine I can keep up with. Um, so that means going to sleep at a certain time, waking up at a certain time, going to the gym, even if it's just cardio, getting my cardio in, um, prepping my meals. That's been big. I've been doing that. I, um, I've been on vacation for two weeks, so I've been doing that these two weeks, and I can already feel I have more energy. Um, uh, I have more energy. I feel less bloated, so yeah. So prepping my meals, and then like just setting aside Sundays to prep meals. Sundays early in the morning. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. Well, have started already. Oh, another thing I wanted to do <laughs> was open an Etsy shop with my crafts. That never happened. Um, yeah, work got way too busy. Way too busy that any free time I did have, it was either um, spent on my on my son um, or work. So that did not happen. Um, and when I did craft, it was mostly to de-stress. I do that a lot. I, I find that my crafting helps me de-stress, focus my mind on completing a project that it's repetitive, so it's calming. But the problem is I would get into it so much that it, I would go to sleep at one o'clock in the morning. So that's not really very, um, very productive. Where's my iPad? That wasn't very productive, guys. I'm sorry about the lighting. This is horrible. I need to find something. I need to get different lights or I don't know. Gosh, and I keep breaking out. See, there's another one coming out. I don't know what's going on. Okay, maybe this is a little better. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch this room up again. Um. So, yeah. So, with regards to work... um. We are going through a major finance uh, system transformation. It's not just finance. It's a whole system transformation. And that's taken up a lot of my time. A lot. Well, you might ask yourself, well, what does accounting have to do with systems? Well, a lot. Um, when you, well, not only if you're a public company, you know, a lot of, I used to work for a private company and that was huge as well, you know, um, socks controls and all that. So, um, you know, the area I work in has to do with um, controls. And so when you're implementing a new system, you've got to revamp all your um, controls. So it's been fun. Uh, I love that. I love my job. I love the project work. I love... I just love it. I'm so happy. I've never been happier at a job, in a job. Um, but it's been quite um, time consuming. There's days we've put in 14 hour days and it's not typically, typically like that at all. You know, they do respect your work-life balance. They're very big on that. But, you know, I'm the type of person or let's just say I'm the type. Ooh, I need to be careful how I say this. I'm from the generation that if a company treats you well, you know, you you give of yourself. And it's a two-way relationship, you know, it's give and take and it it so you know, if my company if the company I work for is very good to me in other areas, you know, in the benefits they give us, in the um uh, 
Oh my God, this lighting is terrible. Hold on guys. Sorry guys, but this will have to do for now. I apologize. I am going to find a better solution to this. Um, so as I was saying, um, you know, so if a company is good to you, you know, you're good to the company, etc. Um, I'm not tick for tack. I know that especially in my field, there's times of the year or there'll be projects that demand more of you. And I know that I know that going in, um, this company also, um, well, I've been very lucky in my last 20, wow, I think 25, 30 years that I've been working, I have worked for companies where, um, they offer you the opportunity to advance yourself. How? Either with projects. So if you volunteer to work on a project besides your nine to five, you get I've been recognized for that. I've been I've been recognized for that and it's helped me advance my career. Um, or either they paid for um, uh, university, um, they've paid for management courses, they've paid for, you know, training, additional training. I mean, it's so if you're not willing to uh, sacrifice a little bit and take on that extra you know, um, management course or project or work, then I guess, you know, how do you expect to be rewarded if you're just meeting expectations? So that's been, that's my, maybe one day I'll do a video on that, um, on how I've, um, I'm a, I'm a VP in the company I work at. So maybe one day, and, and a lot of this, I wish, I wish YouTube was around when I was younger. So I could, um, look up you know well how do you advance yourself in a career um I, I figured it out on my own thankfully i have great i had great managers that worked for great companies so i figured it out but i think i would have gotten where i'm at a little bit faster if i had known with a little bit more guidance but it's all good so maybe i'll do a video on that all right guys so what else what else this year um so yeah, work. So at work, I am going to try to, let's see, um, work smarter, work smarter. Well, first of all, establishing a routine so I'm even more productive at work and work smarter. Because sometimes, like, you know, it's not going to help me if I, you know, went to sleep at 2 o'clock in the morning and, um had four hours of sleep you know i'm not gonna be it's not good for me it's not good for my job so um yeah so something else i want to focus on this year is um my making sure that i um see my doctors uh on a more frequent basis like you know make sure i don't miss my um semi-annual dentist appointment, uh, make sure I don't miss my mammogram, my bone density test, um, what else? My annual physical, like just making sure I don't um, forget to do that. So I've got my bone density test coming up. Uh, just that my mammogram, everything's A-OK, -okay, thank goodness. Um, and yeah, just keep on top of everything. Just keep on top of everything. Take the time to go to the doctor. Uh, you know, my, again, the company I work for, they're very understanding about that. Um, there's no, re just because I work at home doesn't mean there's no reason that I feel that I should, um, how can I say that um, like I'm taking advantage or anything? Because if anything, I'm working more now because I'm taking calls at 7.30 in the morning, 8, 8.30 and working easily through sometimes through 11.30 at night. Um, I do have the flexibility, though, that if I need to drop off my son, pick him up from school, um, go to a doctor's appointment, it's it's been great. 
I love working from home, but I do need to set boundaries. I need to set a routine and stick to it. I want to travel more. Um, the company I work for allows us to take 20 days and travel. And as long as it's okay with our supervisor and it's approved, we can go ahead and do that. So I'm obviously I'm not going to do 20 days. I may take uh, two or three days. But yeah, like disconnect, have that away time. Um, I'm also actually today... Um, like I said, I am on vacation. Um, in a little bit, I'm going to head over to my parents' house. I am going to um, help them pick out their tours. It's funny because last year I was supposed to go to London during spring break with my son. And for whatever reason, we didn't. We didn't. Um, but this year we are, for sure. And I'm very excited about I've been keeping an eye on the uh, airline tickets. I don't think they're going to get any cheaper. So I think we, I just need to pull the plug on that. And then I'm going to do that today. I'm going to buy the tickets. Um, and book my tours. Yeah, so I need to uh, get the tickets. Purchase the tickets, purchase or make my reservations for the hotel or Airbnb. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. And help my and then my mom has been I've been to London before and I love it. I think I've been there four times. I've been lucky enough that through work. I get to go so whenever i've had a trip to london i book a couple of days before my work trip and i just explore so um my son told me hey you know i want to go to london he's been wanting to go for a couple of years so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i had told my mom why don't you come with us and she was like oh yes She's like, but I wish my, your dad would want to go. I'm like, well, try and convince him. Uh, but they wanted to do, I think, take advantage of uh, go to London and and visit a couple of cities in Italy. And, you know, they're, they're older, so they like things to be planned out. So they wanted to go on a tour, tour company. So they did that. And the company they use is really good. They've been with them before. So, um, but I can't go in during that time. So, but I'm going to help her pick out her tours. And then I need to go exchange a gift I gave them for Christmas. Um, let's see, 2023. Um, so my son's 13 years old and for those of you who have had the pleasure and joy of having kids and are at that age those teenager years and when they're going through puberty and all those wonderful hormonal changes it's been tough guys Oh my goodness, I think I have my sister. Um, you know, I know it's normal. And when I was growing up, the way parents dealt with that was way different than how, you know, that's dealt with nowadays. And I, I need to do some research. Yeah, I need to talk to somebody about that. Because it's hard. It's really hard. Um, so that's something that I'm constantly, and I know I'm going to be working through this year. Um, what else? Oh, my dog. 
you know, we went on vacation um, to Alaska. You know, my son kind of had a fallout with a friend. That's affected me a lot. Came back and my dog was sick. He had his spleen removed. He had the tumor. It was like this size. So yeah, I hope everything is okay. Now, um, what else? What else? So yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I was going to say fiscal year. That's 2023 in, um, in summary. Um, and things I'm looking forward to in 2024, or maybe not looking forward to, uh, oh, 2023, we, we did, we tented our house for termites. That was long overdue. Um, we had the house painted, which was also long overdue. Um, we had a lot of wood replacement done. You know, that's a huge thing here in, in Florida. The termites will eat your house. Um, and then this year, we've had, I think, like five people come and give us estimates in our bathrooms. And just we haven't felt comfortable with anyone. So definitely we need to get the bathroom done this year and then paint the inside of the house, get our floors re resurfaced. We have travertine throughout the whole house, so we need to get it repolished, resurfaced, whatever is done to those floors, get some closet doors fixed. Um, and what else yeah so have those little things and i have done so much decluttering guys that's i think maybe number three thing in my that's taking up headspace in I would say for the last five years has been the clutter I have in my house. It's it's one of those projects that every time you think about it, it causes you stress. And it's something you always tell yourself, well, this weekend I'll get to it. This weekend I'll get to it. You never get to it because when you start thinking of the time it's going to take, I get very discouraged. I get very discouraged and I just close the door. So I have between, so I went on vacation December 22nd. Today's I think the 4th or the 5th. So I started to um, declutter that weekend. So I have gone through, let's see, um, I decluttered my makeup, which is, oh, I felt so much lighter that day. I decluttered my makeup. I decluttered my um, dining room buffet. I had mm, my son, um, when he was younger, we had a lot of um, occupational therapy, um, exercises, um, amongst other stuff. Uh, but we also had, I had workbooks, I had, um, geez, I had workbooks going back to, I think, sixth grade. So, you know, math, workbooks, extra problems, extra, you know, um, help. Uh, we have the fast test down here. I don't know if that's a nationwide thing, but we had those um, assessment tests, booklets, practice tests. So all of that, I got rid of everything. The only thing I've got in that cabinet now is, you know, um, backup uh, school supplies like glue, pencils, um, erasers, and some paper. That's it. 
it feels so much better. So then everything that I couldn't put in there, so for example, I have uh, seasonal vases, mm, seasonal, can I should say seasonal candles, vases, so like when I have little get-togethers, I have small vases, I have big vases. Um, so I put everything in there and then my fine china now is very comfortably there. And also any um, board games and cards. It's all there, it's all in one space. Because the idea is we have an entertainment unit in our Florida room. Down here we call it Florida room or some people call it a family room. And we want to get rid of that because, you know, you really don't see those anymore, entertainment units. Um, it's big, it's bulky. I mean, I wish I could keep it, but it's just we want to get a bigger TV. So our, obviously the big TV won't fit in there. Maybe I can keep the two end units. I don't know. I'm, I need to try and convince my husband we can do that. But he just wants to get rid of the whole thing and simplify. Just put on a TV and maybe get a small, low, um, cred not credenza, like entertainment unit, but something more sleek and minimal. Um, so I need to empty that out. So I've been emptying it out. So I put that in the dining room buffet. Um, decluttered my kitchen. Wow, that felt great. Got rid of plates, mugs. Gosh, I I cannot buy, that's another goal I have for 2024, is not buy one more mug. I can't. Um, let's see, what else did I declutter? Um, the garage. Oh my gosh. Cleaning supplies. So I had a lot of cleaning supplies when I was cleaning my mother-in-law's house and um, emptying that house out. We had to clean it, obviously. So I had a, I had a lot of cleaning supplies. So I consolidated them. I had like uh, a, a gallon or a jug of Clorox, three open at the same time. So I combined them into a one, got rid of two empty ones. And the same with a lot of other stuff, like glass cleaner and stuff like that. So I not only did I clean the shelves where we have that, I also decluttered um, and organized that. Uh, cleaning rags, we had rags with holes in it that I don't know what we were cleaning with uh, those uh, with, but um i also decluttered all my oh i am obsessed with tea towels for the kitchen i love so one of my things is whenever i go to a new city i buy a tea towel and that'll remind me of the city i was in okay some of these it hurt me to let go of them but they were dirty they were disgusting even though i had washed them they had stains in them so i just kept those that are like clean I'm not going to pick one more up until I use all of those up. Um, also decluttered some rugs, bath rugs that were already like shedding and stuff. Mm, organized where I keep my paper plates, my plastic cups, uh, my son's sports water jugs. Um, oh, the section where we have our dog's uh, bath towels and all his bathing supplies. Um, and the dog food and the bird food. We have two um, parrots. Um, so decluttered all that, fixed it, organized it. What else? Now that I say it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's been a lot. Mm. Uh, brought down all the Christmas stuff. Oh my gosh, yes, how can I forget? So um, brought down all the Christmas stuff. I wanted to start the new year with a blank slate house decor. Um, so I decluttered, uh, I put away all my Christmas stuff, but at the same time decluttered everything, all the decorations I don't want anymore. Kind of hurt me a little bit because um, when I was single, my Christmas tree, it was like a Moroccan theme. So I had, I remember years ago, I had purchased all my Christmas decorations and Christmas tree decorations um, in Pier 1 Imports. And they had a huge, like, it was like a 70% off sale. These decorations were gorgeous. They were like big, but like jewel toned colors, very Moroccan. Um, and yeah, but so when we had our son, everything had to be shatterproof. So I started buying, you know, cute little, like um, the Disney plush toys. With those we decorated, everything now was plush, plush, plush. So he could like literally, you know, um, it could fall on the ground if he was walking around it and it wouldn't um, uh, break into glass or whatever those balls are made out of. 
so yeah so but now it's grown on me and that's the tree i do every year i'm gonna put a picture of it right here so um uh, we also decorate outside so everything came down and we've decluttered so much christmas halloween and thanksgiving decorations it feels so good and, and i'm only keeping the stuff i really really truly love and i will not this year 2024 i will not buy one more mug i will not buy any house decor item i've said it here i will not um so yeah that's been that's been uh, my 2024 so far let me just put some mascara on then finally for 2024 i want to be more consistent in posting uploading youtube videos i i love makeup i'm going to be more consistent at uh, looking to see what's out there and really um walking myself through the decision of buying makeup whether i really need it or i don't and maybe even helping you out in the decision um so for example i'll give you an example there's a um it's shantakai and chanel have a uh, shantakai has a three pan eyeshadow palette that's coming out for the spring and chanel has a quad coming out and they both have Oh, and I think there's one by either Guerlain or Givenchy has green in it. And I've been, I like coppery, greenish khaki colors, but I see the trend coming along for spring. And I've seen it in a couple of quads or eyeshadows. And I am so tempted to buy either one of those. But then I tell myself, I have to have something in my inventory of makeup. Um, so I want to start looking to see, okay, this is what's coming out. For example, this is the trend coming out for spring, for summer, for fall, for winter. Do I have that in my um, collection? And if I do, try to talk myself out of it and maybe in the process, talk yourselves out of it. <laughs> Help you talk yourselves out of it. Um, because... The amount of stuff, well, a lot of the stuff I had already used up or was more than halfway used and had just expired. So I try not to have that much waste. A lot of it was not, was used a couple of times, but I just I only have one face. I only have two eyeballs, you know? Um, so I'm giving a lot, of, a lot of my stuff to my sister and my nieces. Um, but I just don't want to start accumulating so much because this is what happens when you realize when, when, when you have so much makeup and you look at other makeup and you ask yourself, oh, well, I, I'm sure I don't have anything like that. You just buy it. You don't even hesitate to look at what you have when everything is organized in a manner where you can easily sort through your, um, eyeshadow palettes, your blushes. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I have this. No, don't buy it. So I just feel much more lighter. I feel more organized. I feel more productive. Anyways, with that said, all right, guys, I hope you have a great 2024. I hope all your goals and intentions come through. I hope you get to achieve them. And yeah, so stick around and I hope you subscribe to my channel. And for those of you, like I said, coming back, thank you so much for your support. Mwah. Bye.